and boom look at that we got a widescreen image welcome back to the channel guys now we're talking about dolly 3 why did you guys not give us choices for aspect ratios i don't understand that there's a workaround of course I got a bunch of images here generated from dolly 3 so here's what you do you generate your image right i've already downloaded some of them just say that this is the image you created and you want a widescreen version i'm gonna show you how to get any aspect ratio that you want but as far as the thumbnail listen it's not a lie it's more like a half truth all right i got two websites for you guys to make this happen all right the first one is not all the way free you get like five images for free that you could do this with if you want it 16 by 9 widescreen boom you just click on that if you want it 9 by 16 you just click on that the better website comes right now that one is called vmake ai let me show you the next one now this one is the one you guys are going to want to use because you can use it every day for free you come to clip drop links in the description for you guys but you come to clip drop and you come over here where it says uncrop all right so that is the tool that we're going to be able to use and now before we go any further because i get a lot of comments oh you said it was free but it's this that and the third blah 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 let's make it very clear for you guys come over here to free tier right here zero dollars here is the tool uncrop for the uncrop tool you get 100 every 24 hours come over to uncrop blow your image uh, now you guys could choose whatever dimensions you want uh, click on next and it's gonna turn your image into a widescreen image. Now look at that right there. You tell me, did I lie to you guys? Am I showing you the truth? That's how you turn your square images from Bing into widescreen images. And they give you all these choices down here at the bottom. We instantly have widescreen 16 by nine images from Bing, look at that. And it looks good too, right? Looks very good. Just in case you happen to have something in the image that you just don't like you just use the magic eraser tool you don't like any option no problem click on this plus and boom just like that you're about to get four new images okay. this is the easiest trick in the book oh wait i wanted one from that first first little set that i generated just click that back button and there your first options are still there actually i really like this one and that first one it looks like she's looking through the windshield download this one just because it looks so cool you could try another one just to show you guys how good this tool works obviously you guys can use whatever dimensions that you want all right and boom look at that we got a widescreen image very very cool i prompted a fisheye lens effect so that's why the image looks like that it's just generative fill that's all it is that's how you change them from square to rectangle shaped images without distorting your image is completely for free every 24 hours you get 100 generations with this take the most of it i'll put the link in the description below all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next free ai tool video click the video down below go ahead i'll see you there